Okay, hello. Um, hello to anyone watching this. Uh, if you're, you're probably seeing this through my friend's blog thing about Bitcoin, but if you're not, you're finding it on my channel. So, I mean, if you're finding it from the channel, definitely check out you, me, and BTC. We have different Bitcoin news, and we do a weekly podcast there. So, I mean, if you're at all interested in that, just check it out. But, anyway, this time I'm reviewing the Bitbrew 130 or 1300 megawatts 445 nm. I'm sorry, I didn't look that up before I started doing the video. I'm not entirely sure what that means. If you know what lasers are, then that might help. Um, but anyway, it's a laser, it's a handheld laser. Um, there's and actually, you don't buy the laser, it's you buy them as a, a laser part bundle just because of there's some legal issues with owning them and with, uh, I think mostly with shipping them. So they ship them in a kind of like a bundle, and I'll show you right, right now how it comes. It comes in a, just a package like this, just one of these plastic ones. And Bit Lasers is who sells them, and I believe. The packaging, it looks like it came from Norway. But, anyway. Um, you just have that front ring. Then you have this part. And you want to be careful while you're unscrewing the things, which side you're unscrewing. Because you don't really want to twist up the wires in there. And then this one comes out. I don't know if you can see, I think you can see that. But, yeah, that's basically the piece that came in that just came in, just the body was just separate. And actually, even my, my the ring of this was on there, which kind of confused me at first. But the ring is normally just threaded onto there. You just take that off. Take your one like that. Put it on. Screw this one on, and again, trying to be careful with the wires, you don't want to snap the wires, and then you kind of just place that in, then just the ring kind of goes over that, and there you go, and then you have your laser assembled, so yeah, I mean, if you know what you're doing, it's really pretty quick to assemble. That right there is how you adjust the, the focus of the beam. And the on-off buttons in the back. And that's also where you can unscrew it. And they're lasers on bit lasers. They don't come with a... I mean, you have to buy the battery separately. You have to buy the batteries. Which, for this specific laser, they were two of... The RCR123 3.7 volt rechargeable batteries. I got two of those. And I also got this little... Thing that fits on the cap to protect it when not using it and I mean you have to buy this stuff separately but uh, and then just a charger and the cord for the charger so you just got to get those I'd also advise I didn't do it this I didn't do this but I should have I definitely advise um, getting I don't know you might be just be able to use sunglasses but just getting a the, the safety glasses they sell on there because, I mean, these are very, very bright, especially for me. The only other thing I've seen or actually used is uh, just a plain old, like, $7 laser, red laser pointer. So these things, uh, I mean, you definitely don't want to shine these in someone's eye. You'll probably just cause them to go blind pretty quickly. But even just looking at this is pretty... Uh, it's pretty stunning, especially in the dark. But, um, anyway, yeah, so, I guess review. I wanted to originally do, like, an unboxing thing, but I tried doing it with my phone, and for whatever reason, the audio wasn't really coming through, so I had to use this flip cam, which is kind of annoying because of the very short battery life that I get, because I don't have the original battery. But, um... Anyway, that's why it's already all opened up. I kind of wanted to start from the beginning to show you guys. But this way it's already all charged and I can just have that all without cutting it up into a bunch of different videos. But, um, yeah, man, I guess I already showed you it's pretty easy to set up. 
uh, pretty easy to assemble. So, I mean, I guess I'll show in the dark how bright it is. I guess I'll show in the light how bright it is first. If I can even... I don't even know if you can see that. But, I mean, I can already kind of see it. But I'll turn the light off. And... Yeah, I don't know if you can... How much that you can see, but I'll pick it up. And, yeah, right over there, it's very bright. And you can see the beam right there. So... So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's a very powerful laser. Um, I haven't used it to try to burn anything yet because I have a very hard time keeping things steady to focus on a piece of paper for long enough. I'm going to try in a little bit to do that, and if I can, then I'll get a video of it doing that. But, anyway, it, I mean, as far as I can, I kind of just bought it because for the podcast we were looking, we might have the uh one of the guy or the guy who runs bit laser doing a, a sponsorship or uh buying some ad space on our podcast so i kind of wanted to buy something from him just to like if we were going to advertise for him i wanted to know what he had was legit and it wasn't some kind of a, a scam and it, it's not and um i think this one was about a hundred oh, i'm gonna break the laser but <laughs> This was about 160. It's probably their mid pre mid priced. It's right around. They have lasers there. From I think from like 35 all the way up to something in the 400 dollar and above range. Uh, they have reds, greens, or red lasers, green lasers, violet lasers, and uh, blue laser, which is what I got. Um, but we got a a discount. He was asked the the bit laser guy was asking for reviews and so we figured that would work. Uh, Daniel and I did that. Um, the guy said he'd give a discount to anyone on their laser, like a refund for anyone who was willing to do a, a review. So, and I kind of just wanted to have a laser just to be able to mess around with it at night. Which, I mean, you de you definitely need to be careful. Don't be messing with this when you're at all intoxicated with anything because you don't want to shine hit someone in the eye with this because it could very quickly and easily blind someone so i mean definitely don't i mean definitely be careful with them uh but if if you definitely if you like lasers if you're into lasers check out bit lasers you can pay with bitcoin i guess i haven't mentioned that either um but all these videos i've been doing besides the uh, concert videos have all been stuff that i could buy with bitcoin but, uh, yeah, they're definitely cool, especially if you're someone who's into lasers. Uh, check out that site. They've got some pretty powerful ones, uh, especially if you want to spend even more money than I did. Um, and like I said, I guess I'm going to see if this, if I can get this to burn some paper. That's what this one's supposed to be able to do pretty well. So, and we'll see, and I'll get a video up if it does that. So, anyway... Thanks for watching, and again, check out, uh, if you didn't come from that blog post with this video, check out you, me, and BTC. Anyway, thanks. Bye. Okay, yeah, I did get it to, to burn through some of the stuff, so I kind of just set it up on the washing machine there. Set up the laser there, and the paper there, I just duct taped. And actually, when I was setting it up and I was focusing it, like focusing... With that, I actually did, <laughs> I didn't turn it off, so I actually did feel the heat on my fingers. So, yeah, I mean, you can definitely feel it. And I'm not sure how well you can see, but that is definitely a hole there. So, and, I mean, all right, I'll just be adding this in at some point in this, but there's just a little a booklet that comes with your order, and it just says thank you, and if you have any questions, it gives you an email there, and then it just kind of just walks you through the assembly process, and like I said, it's pretty easy, and hopefully me showing helped a little bit. 
Um, but it kind of just goes through and explains how to put the batteries in, how to adjust the beam. And the final page is a warning page to be careful with, which I tore off, and that's what I'm going to try to burn. So we'll see if that works.